Hello everyone, welcome back to another weekly through the mail autograph wrap up. Uh, a couple videos back, I said that I would be writing to uh, some more of the stick and ball uh, sports um, athletes and things like that, and not as much NASCAR. And this week, I got a bunch of those cards back. So um, this should be a fun video. Uh, decent stack of returns this week to go through. So let's get started. First up, we have Jason Keller on a 1999 Press Pass Premium. I really like uh, 99 Press Pass Premium is a pretty awesome set. And then uh, here's what the back of it looks like, just in case. So Mr. Uh, Keller, he ended up signing 4 of 4 uh, for me. And these uh, No Boundaries from 2003 Press Pass Stealth are pretty sweet. So I like that. But uh, yeah, he signed 4 of 4. Uh, took about 3 months. Uh, love these food issue cards. Uh, Albertson's Press Pass. I think there's four cards in this little release. So it was kind of cool to get that one signed. A card that we don't usually see that often. And then I had to get his Farb card. Uh, Farb car signed. Uh, loved playing with that stuff when I was younger. And then next up we have Greg Luganis, the five-time Olympic medalist. Uh, he signed 101. He was really fast. It took about a week, uh, but he lives out in California and I'm in Arizona, so that probably helped a lot. Um, and he also charges a fee. I could not find his fee, so I put a $5 bill in there and that seemed to work. So uh, Greg Luganis, uh, he's also in Allen and Ginter, I believe. Uh, I want to say maybe 06 or 07. And then next up, we have a Japanese baseball card. I uh, love getting Japanese baseball cards signed by uh, the foreign players or the Americans. So this was pretty cool. Uh, Mr. Anderson signed this in, it was about a week. And then we have Mr. Mike Davis. Uh, he also signed 101. He uh, si ended up signing this on the back, and I actually kind of like it signed on the back. I think it looks good. But uh, this 1992 Arca Flash, uh, or Arca Supercar Series set, uh, there's a lot of guys in this set that uh, still sign autographs. And there is a Scott Bloomquist card in here uh, in this set when he drove uh, in Arca. So yeah, Mr. Davis signed 101, and it took about a week. So it's pretty cool uh, to get that back. Next up, we have... Elio Castro Nevis. This one took a few months. The indie guys are a little bit slower. Uh, but yeah, uh, 101 in like two or three months for Elio. So it's the first one, uh, first time I've ever gotten his autograph. So it's pretty cool to get a uh, Indy 500 winner and everything. And then next up, we have Mr. Loy Allen. I can't remember how many he signed. Four, yeah. So this is another one that took a while to get. Uh, he signed, I want to say in four months, but here's his Upper Deck Road to the Cup. I always loved uh, this uh, release. They they have some really, really cool uh, photographs in the set. So and then here's another one from the Changing Gears. Then we have the what is it? Uh, finish line images. I like that set too because it had more than just NASCAR guys in it. it had NHRA open wheel guys. Uh, I think it has like drag boat racing guys in it. Uh, there's all kinds of people in the set. So it's pretty cool. Then we have a 1994 high gear for the set. So it's always nice when I can still uh, get these done through the mail. Then next up we have Travis Buck. So I sent this card and I sent him a 2008 tops because I'm working on the 2008 top set, uh, trying to get the entire thing signed, which will never happen because 
people like Derek Jeter, the charge, I think he's up to 1200 uh, just to sign a baseball card, $1,200. It's absolutely ridiculous. But anyway, uh, Travis, he's, he's kind of, uh, notorious for swapping out your cards for whatever he feels like putting in there. Uh, so got the airbrushed Indians card slash guardians, uh, 2011 tops back. And then his upper deck card, uh, got those back in a, about a week from him. And then another card for my 2008 top set, Johnny Damon. Uh, he signed 101 in two weeks. I need to write to him again because he also has a card in the 2008 updates and highlights set that I need to get signed. And then we have Wes Anderson. He signed four of four. Uh, this took uh, about two weeks. So his just 99, the insert, just long shots. I love getting these cards signed because uh, when these came out in 1999, I was 18. Uh, and a lot of these guys, it was like, how am I going to get these people? I've, you know, because uh, they don't come around uh, to where I live and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool to try and... Uh, get autographs of these guys now that seemed so unattainable when I was younger, if that makes any sense. Even if it is somebody, you know, Wes Anderson, it's kind of a big deal to me. I really like it. So, and then back to NASCAR, we have Mr. Phil Barkdahl signed two of two. Uh, this took about two weeks and thank you, Logan, for the 1992 pro set. I greatly appreciate it. Then we have Mr. Bobby Massey, another from the ARCA Supercar Series set. He signed 101 in a week. And then uh, our last return is Mike Groff. He signed two of two. Uh, I think he took like two, maybe three weeks. And then uh, he signed my letter and everything. So that was pretty, pretty nice of him. So... Thank you all again for uh, watching, listening to me ramble, all your comments. Uh, I do look at them. Uh, I'm not always the quickest to respond, and I apologize for that. I am trying to get better. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching my channel and uh, letting me be a part of your lives. I, I greatly appreciate it. And uh, it's something that I don't take lightly, so thank you all.